<laughs> hey, it's me, and yes, I cut my hair. Thank you for asking. So I've just come back from a Cuban comp, the second one I've organized now, and it was crazy. There was so much that I loved about it. I don't want to forget, and I'd love to share it with you as well. So here we go. 10 highlights from this Cuban comp. Number one, the fact that I got to organize a second Cuban comp. These things are so much fun. They're a hive of activity, the adrenaline's pumping as people are trying to get the best times. You're just meeting new people, plus working with WCA delegates, people from Speed Cubing Australia. Man, those guys are some of the best people in the world. What can I say? If you're into cubing and you still haven't been to a Cuban comp, go to one. It's so much fun. Number two, getting second place in FMC. I only just learned this event a few weeks ago. It was so much fun. It's where you need to solve a cube in the minimum number of moves possible. Ah, oh, love it. Number three, my daughter getting a sub 20 single at the comp. This is something she's been wanting for a long time and she managed to get a convincing 19 second solve at this comp. Well done, so proud of her. Number four, lots of PBs. I went into this comp realistically, hoping I'd do well at some events, but man, I smashed my PBs for nearly every single event. It was way more than I could have asked for, and the one I was probably most proud of was a 15 second average for 3x3. Oh, so happy with that. Number five, getting a sub three minute 3x3 blindfold single. This is a great time for me, but even more than that, it means that I get to take part in this event at the upcoming World Championships in July, and I'm super happy about that. Number six, the three blind world record. On day one of the comp, Jack Kai smashed the three blind world record with a blistering time of 16.22 seconds. I didn't actually get to see it because I was in the middle of my solve train time. You can actually hear the moment that it happened. But afterwards, everyone just went crazy. It was so good. Jack completely deserves this record, and I cannot wait to see him continue to break his own record again and again in the future. Number seven, meeting people at the comp, faces new and old, and especially hearing people's reaction to the world record that Jack set on day one. Jack's a great guy. Jack's world record was amazing. I don't know how he can get a 15 seconds, but he can't even see the, the I need something to be excited about. I missed Jack's world record. I was in Subway. I had a foot long sub in like five minutes though, so I'm pretty proud of that. That's your world record. Number eight, successfully solving five out of seven cubes in multiplying. Number nine, hanging out with the guys over dinner. I took the delegates and some of the guys who traveled up to Brisbane to Chermside Shopping Center, which always brings the goods. And finally, number 10, the three by three world record average single. On day two of the competition, a second world record was set by none other than Felix Zemdegs. Oh. You'd almost think that these world records just happen every single day. They're actually yeah. such rare occurrences. And to see a second one get set, and this one too, Felix solved five 3x3 three three cubes with an average of 5.69 seconds. Can't even process that. Well done, Felix. The crowd went wild. It was just an incredible experience to see for myself. And the fact that it happened here in Brisbane, the fact that it happened at a comp, which I was a part of putting together, Cubing world records are something people dream of seeing and I got two of them in one competition. So it was a crazy competition, but not one I'm gonna forget anytime soon. Thank you so much if you came to take part or to help out. Really appreciate the part that you played in making this event happen. Well, that's it for me now, but I'm gonna end with a bunch of solves uh, and some outtakes if you're interested in seeing that. Otherwise, see you in Ara.
Show up. Can you sign my pizza, Jack? Uh, Can you please sign my pizza? Do I have a texture?